What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Land Ark. This is going to be the last episode of the Land Ark, okay? I'm done with it after this. I'm done with it. I'm going to move on. It's time for something new. I've been doing this for like a year now, okay? Over a year, okay? And I'm not a landscaper. I'm one of the greatest video creators of all time, okay? That's what I am, okay? So we're going to finish this land, whatever makes my soul, you know, happy. And then we're going to do something else in the future now. I really want a cheese to be in the last episode here of the Land Ark, but he doesn't come around anymore. I think all the comments you guys have been leaving him, I think they got to his head. He's got like an agent now. He's gonna do a movie, I guess. Ice Age live action, something stupid like that. I don't know what he's doing. I'm talking about a squirrel, by the way. I'm out of my mind. Anyway, I'm going to Home Depot right now. We're gonna get a, we're gonna get another grape plant. Uh, one that's good for making wine. I came for grapes, but look, five for 10 for malt, so I gotta do it. All right, I came here for grapes, but look at this lime tree. We're gonna do this lime tree. <laughs> it's the last episode, guys. We're gonna do the lime tree. These are the grape vines. We can do grape merlots or uh, some grape cabernets. We're gonna go with the cabernets. We're also gonna do a trellis to match the other one we got. This is our haul here. Five things of mulch, a trellis, a lime tree, and a grape plant. This is the last episode, guys, so I'm going all out. Not because it's a great tax write-off, but because I wanna go all out and because it's a great tax write-off. All right, we got everything in the car. Everything's pretty stuffed to the brim. <laughs> There's the grapevine. We ended up going with the Cabernet. So it says here it's a full-bodied high tannis, tannies with berry and earthy tobacco flavors. U.S. California is great, okay? We almost went with the Merlot, which is uh, soft to medium-bodied high, whatever, okay? We went, uh, we went with the, I think we went with the right choice here, okay? We can always get the other one too and have all sorts of varieties here, but uh, yeah. You guys don't think I'm a little ridiculous for showing you this? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go to the land now. So I got these stairs here. And when I go up them, I have this a picnic table. And just, it looks terrible up here. So we're going to make this look better. So I dropped everything off at the land. I'm going to go to Home Depot again. And I'm going to get some bricks because I'm going to make a retaining wall where I just showed you. Okay. I know I said done with the bricks a few episodes ago. But, uh, you know, we have, this is the last episode. So we're going to do more bricks. Okay, we're doing more bricks. And uh, you'll see, it's gonna look nice. We're at Home Depot, guys. We're about to get bricked up, and I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means, but we're getting bricked up, so. What is, what is bricked up? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, we're, <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that. I'll get arrested if I do that in uh, the Home Depot. Um, we're just getting some bricks. 248 for these bricks. We're gonna go with these. I'm gonna get like 48 of them. I hope it's enough. I'm gonna do 27 actually. It's not because I'm cheap or anything. It's just because, you know, don't wanna put all this in my car right now, so. It's because I'm cheap, guys. All right, I'm back at the land. I measured about 10 feet from this great plant we have, and right where that pole is, I am gonna put the Cabernet. Cabernet, okay, I'm just trying to bug ya. And right here, there was a bunch of poison oak. Yeah, I cleaned it up. It's funny, I actually found a giant manhole cover owned by the flood department. I had to call them. And they had to come pick it up. And then it was dumped. Somebody dumped it here a long time ago. So, I'm the best thing to happen to this land, honestly. Hi. All right, we're gonna put it in now. Put the trellis on. Looks beautiful. Who, me? No, both of y'all. Really? Yeah, really? Yeah, and I'm losing my mind. It's the next day. I'm gonna clean up a little bit right here. But in the meantime, here's a word from our sponsor because I need money. This video is sponsored by Holzkern. Holzkern means wood core in German, and Ernst means serious in German. Did you know that? Anyway, that's my last name. My last name is Ernst. I'm serious. I'm serious. That's my last name. Anyway, Holzkern is a company and they sell fashionable products for men and women. Father's Day is coming up, so I got these two watches here from Holzkern. This one I'm gonna give to my brother. This is a solar watch. Okay, I'm gonna give this to my brother for Father's Day because he's a dad now. And, uh, well, I got him for free from Holzkern because I'm promoting this and, you know, I might as well give, uh, give back. This one I'm gonna give to my dad here. I really like that there's a little stopwatch right here so I can press this button. It's gonna start doing the little stopwatch and I press it again. Pauses it, okay? And I press this one, and it resets. Well, I think this is a beautiful watch. The solar one, it's called Substantial, or you can say sun stand. It's called Substantial, okay? I was gonna say sun Substantial because it's solar, it's in the sun. Uh, and this one that's marble, it's called Melodical. If you like them, go check them out. If you don't like it after you buy, 25 day money back guarantee. Every box comes with a certificate of authenticity. I was, uh, I was trying to say it in uh, this language. Yeah, it wasn't funny, Alex. You also get a guarantee card of 24 months. Use the code Alex, they're gonna give you 10% off, or you can go to holstern.com slash Alex Ernst, 
and uh, get 10% off there. Or you can scan that QR code right there, okay? I can't scan it personally, because I have a flip phone, so I can't scan QR codes. I'm oppressed by the QR code system that's been in place. Anyway, I'll also put a link in the description if you guys want to check out their products. They have thousands of them for men and women. Uh, thank you for sponsoring this video, Holzkern. Let's continue the video now, Alex. I started cleaning. Look at that, that's all poison oak. One little poison oaking. Yeah, it's not normal. It's not normal for a human being to deal with this. I was gonna do more, but I'm gonna go home now and take a shower and clean every single crevice of my body. You see this uh, long sleeve shirt that you can get on alexernst.com? Uh, my wrist is exposed because I didn't get a large enough size. And I should have got a large enough size because they're all the same price, even though it costs more money for more material, okay? Because I'm a good guy and I lose profit if you get a larger size. So I should have just got a larger larger size. All right guys, so it's the next day. I cleaned all this up. It looks beautiful. It looks nice. We have that poison oak bush and I still have all this poison oak on the land, but I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm done with the poison oak. I'm done with it. Just kidding guys. I got rid of all of it and I threw it in these bags. Okay. I wanted my enemy to think I was weak when I was actually strong. I haven't been filming this video lately because my skin has been drying up and I'm absolutely losing my mind. Look at my eyes. Can you see my eyes? Am I all dry? Yeah. I don't like how I feel. I feel terrible. Anyway, the other day when I was cleaning up that hill of all that poison oak, I found all these bottles and cans. I also found this little metal light fixture thing. I also found this giant metal clothesline thing just in there. Just, it was just in there. I don't know. People dump stuff here, so. I'm gonna take all this stuff. I'm gonna take these glasses off. I'm gonna take all this stuff now. I'm gonna recycle it, but uh, first I'm gonna get some gloves. I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to get those poison oak oils on me. Thank you. Thank you. In case you were wondering, I made about $2.54 recycling all that stuff. I'm going to put it in my savings account and, um, well, I'm going to save for my future, okay? Because we want to build a house here one day if it's possible. God willing, it's possible. This is the last episode, okay? This is it. This is the last episode of the Land Ark. Maybe there'll be a house arc in the future. Who knows what's going to happen in the future, okay? But this is the last episode of the Land Ark. We're going to put this lime tree in now, okay? And, uh, well, hopefully I can get some limes in, you know, a year or two. I've always wanted a lime tree, so this is, this is exciting. Let's go, lime tree unlocked. Now I don't have to spend 50 cents at the store anymore. Instead, I spent 40 on the tree, and I'm gonna get my money back in, like, five years. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna make this look better. All right, now I'm gonna start building this wall. All right, I finished it and I filled some soil in there. There's the lime tree. Now we're just gonna get some flooring here. We're not doing mulch. I uh, changed my mind on the mulch. Instead, we're gonna give back. I'm doing a giveaway on my Instagram. I'm giving away five bags of mulch to five lucky people. So we're gonna put some uh, bricks here, some leftover bricks we have. These are the bricks we're gonna use. They've been left over. I used them for something else, then I changed my mind. Now we're gonna have everything to be of use on the land, so. We're gonna put these bricks in and then, well, the land arc's over. All right, well, that's all of them. All right, here we go. It's really terrible. It's really uneven, but I don't care, okay? I'm done with the land now, okay? Let's give you a little tour and then we're done. That's a hill, okay? Here's some steps. We've got an apple tree right here. Got another apple tree right there. I got a shed here. I got a picnic table down there. I got this. If I wanted, I could play ping pong. I just got to get some friends that aren't animals. So, won't be doing that. You got a beautiful hill. Got some more steps going up it. When you get up the stairs, you got that beautiful view. You got table, chairs. You got a clock right there. Bird feeder, camera. Another camera somewhere else, I'm not telling you. I'm catching every trespasser and I'm building a case against them. Over here, we got a bird bath, some stairs. A bridge. You go across the bridge, up this little trail. I'm running. <laughs> and then we got a view right here. Rape vines going down. Cleaned all this hill. I'm gonna weed whack every week or something. Keep it, uh, keep it tidy here. We also have this bench where we can look at the beautiful view right there. God is great. I'm excited for what is next to come. And if I can't build a house here one day, it's gonna become a public park. I hope I can have a house here. I hope I didn't do all this work for it the public, you know? Anyway, what do you guys think of my grapevines? Oh. I never did have land, huh?